Hello vlog, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. Today I'm going to be exploring the little free libraries around my new neighborhood. We are finally moving! I know I've been talking about moving since literally July and that's because our move-in date was July 25th but they didn't actually have our apartment ready until October 21st. If you can believe it, I know, crazy, but we are finally getting to move. So a moving vlog is coming, a building my library with me video is coming, but right now we're just gonna explore some little free libraries. Also, if there are any lawyers in the comments or you know anything about like how I can get some money <laughs> from not being able to move into my apartment that I signed a lease for, for three months, let me know because your girl's struggling. But also, I'm very excited to go explore these little free libraries. I've been walking around the new area where we live and I've just seen, on my like usual walking route that usually takes like 20-ish minutes, I've seen probably eight little free libraries. So we're just gonna go check them out today and I think I'm gonna go to a couple other areas where I know there are like little concentrations of little free libraries and we're just gonna check them out. I would usually drop off books as I was going but all of my books are currently packed away other than the ones on my book wall which are my favorite books. So I am obviously not gonna give any of those away but I will tell you as soon as I get everything unpacked I have a lot to unhaul. I gotta film and unhaul um, and I'm gonna go around to all these little free libraries again and drop off those books. I just don't wanna take a million boxes and sort through a million boxes to find my unhaul books. So rest assured, I will be treating these little free libraries. You just won't see it in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the road and check out some little free libraries. Hello. I am currently walking to the first Little Free Library. I'm starting my little routes. I have my little fitness watch going and we're gonna try to check out some books. Side note, I just love seeing everybody's Halloween decor. Everybody has like really cool decor in this neighborhood. Um, but we're here at the first library. Here we are. It's cute. It's blue. I love the color of this one. Oh, we got a broken door. Looks like we have kids books on top. And down below we have foods that heal. All right. Baby wise. So it's giving like a lot of suburban things like suburban help, gut health and baby books. Um, then we have some mass market stuff like this and like this all feels like pretty dated uh titles in here let's see what this one is red mars by kim stanley robinson not sure about that nothing too wonderful in this first one a lot of older titles evil spy school all right that's interesting but that is our first library. The weather is finally getting nice in Austin. I have my Halloween shirt on, my sweatshirt, my Ouija earrings. It feels like fall. <sighs> this walk is giving me all the serotonin and the fact that maybe I'll get some books from this experience. It's the perfect day, honestly. coming up on our next little library here. It's so cute and green. I love green. Green's my favorite color actually. All right, what do we have here? Leadership and the four disciplines of execution. See, uh, that would not be for me. That old cape magic looks like a beachy read. Barefoot, a northbounder. 
don't know what that is. All of this looks like, you know, kids stuff, Texas stuff, and very like suburban stuff, which is not surprising for the area. Also a duck Pez dispenser. So there she is. On to the next. We're coming up on a brand new one. This little free library isn't even on the map yet, like the guide. Um, I actually saw it being put up the other day. And look at this cute little flower handle. <laughs> this is kind of the one that inspired me to make this video because I saw this going up and I figured, why not explore them all? Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. Why does this sound, oh God. Why does this sound so familiar? One of the best novels this century, blurbed by Gillian Flynn. It looks like a chunk. It's a little too long for me, but I definitely want to know what that's about. The Man Who Lived Underground by Richard Wright. And then <laughs> Selecting Effective Treatment, A Guide to Treating Mental Disorders. Yeah, I don't know about that. Somebody had a problem child, adolescent, and maybe a toddler. <laughs> But I think there's some kind of interesting stuff in here. A story of rebellion, courage, and justice. This one definitely has some newer stuff, but then also like karate for kids. You never know what you're going to get, but look at that little ombre roof. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. Can you imagine living in this neighborhood? Like you would literally be the subject of a thriller. Like domestic thrillers definitely take place here. I wanna know the tea. I wanna know the tea behind the houses that are home to these little free libraries. Um, because I know there's fucking tea. Also, people are observing me talk to a camera, it's fine. Look at this out of pocket Halloween decor. Look at that, he is just ready to snatch me. I'm scared of you, sir. Coming up on the next with this cool little spider web. Oh my gosh, if I had a house that I could do cool decor on, I would totally do that. This one is doorless, but we can see that it has a lot in here. Getting the love you want. See, I'm telling you, domestic thriller stuff takes place in these neighborhoods. How to stop worrying. See, oh, oh my God, I can't. Anger. Please, please, we're getting the tea. We're getting the tea that I wanted. There is a Linda Creenlaw book down there called Slipknot. A Sandra Brown, How to Write Your Own Fairy Tale. Here's A Brave New World. This was definitely a child's, you know, school book, which I love seeing those in here. Happiness for Two, y'all, we're getting the tea. Yoga, of course what else in the suburbs and kindred rights a novel of elemental magic okay i can get down with that so that's everything in here really love their decor so cute my actual biggest nightmare is filming one of these and having the person that i'm filming their house come out and yell at me because I do this alone, <laughs> like most of the time. So that would be absolutely horrifying for me. Uh, I would immediately go into fight or flight, but thank God that has not happened yet. I have had an old couple sit on their porch and watch me go through their library and they just waved and giggled, which that was fine. Um, <laughs> and I'm not referring to today, I'm referring to a time when I did this video before. I've done either two or three other little free library videos so i will link those up above down below so you can watch the whole series and check it out coming up on a little park here which is so cute I guess.
house. The spider motif is the popular thing right now. Oh my gosh. They decorated the library. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, the spider webs. I'm living. All right, let's open her up and see what we got. Wow, oh my gosh. Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Right off the bat, that's a great one. Five days at Memorial. I'm not sure what that is. It looks historical. White kids. All right. Growing up with privilege. We love to see the woke people in this neighborhood. <laughs> Lots of magazines in this one. Mexico in Flames by John Reed. Substance of Civilization. Okay, we have some kind of like woke history buff around here. And also a little fantasy reader. <laughs> so adorbs. I also am going to backtrack real quick because I think I saw one that isn't on the map. I think there are a lot in this neighborhood that people just make that are not on the actual Little Free Library map. So I'm going to go see if I can find that one. Maybe we can check out a bonus, a bonus library. Yes, here is another one right here, and it is huge. Look how massive she is with this intricate little mechanism. Wow, this is so great. It's clean, it is organized. Let's just get a wide shot of this one. It looks like a little barn with like a tin roof. So cute. All right, we have a lot of like family stuff again. Influencer the power to change anything okay we have some manipulators in this neighborhood <laughs> just kidding uh, but we do have a lawyer because there's a law dictionary lots of interesting stuff here and then down in this section we have a blink by malcolm gladwell a lot of these seem to be like self-help book kind of vibe yeah the laws of human nature like these are all very similar we do have a Sue Grafton and a Stuart Woods. So we have some mystery gals in this neighborhood. I don't know what the rule book is. And then we have kids stuff down here as well as Nixon land. So interesting smattering in this one. Good little bonus girl. She's massive. On to the next. We're back on my original trail. We've got another little blue guy right here. This one also looks very organized compared to other ones I've been to. First up, we have presents right on top. A lot of nonfiction in this neighborhood. Turning to one another. Francis and Mayor complete works. We have Love and Luck, which I think this is in the like Love and Gelato series, YA. Swan song, defying gravity, emotional fitness for couples. Y'all, tea, 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 our iceberg is melting. There's tea here. The carrot principle, how, to, how the best managers. Okay, see, there's a lot of business people that live here. I mean, they have to afford to live here, so it makes sense. What happened to you and tarot? Okay, witchy wife, business husband. I see it, I see the vision, I understand it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this adorable, purple and green moment doesn't look very full but we can still look inside we have a mary Kay magazine <laughs> deborah crombie a finer end anger kills you know some people in this neighborhood just need to get their anger the magnificent lives of marjorie post looks a little historical the sawani review and finally we have women leading change in academia lots of non-fiction girls <laughs> in this neighborhood nothing that i would really be super interested in but it's interesting to see what different areas have i feel like there was a definite theme to at least two of the videos that i've done in the past um people in the neighborhoods they like niche 
books. It's very interesting. You know, like who likes what? All of the like academia and law texts in this very wealthy area kind of make sense, um, as well as the kids books, but not as many kids books as I was expecting. One thing's for sure that everybody has a freaking spider. You are not cool in this neighborhood unless you have a spider. This next one has a cute little bench. So adorable. Let's open her up. Looks like some kids books, maybe? Is that, no, that is not for a child. Reveals all, no, this is some kind of mom smut book. And healthy sleep habits for a happy child. Oh my gosh, group psychotherapy, period. We got a therapist living here. And then of course, the standard magazines on the bottom. Not a lot of spice in these. They're all pretty much the same. Luckily, that was the last one on my little route here that I walk. So I'm gonna walk back to my car. I'm also getting hot and my feet are getting tired of these boots. So I'm gonna stop walking <laughs> and we're gonna drive to the next neighborhood over and explore the little free libraries that are on the map over there. See if we can get some more variety or just something different. Okay, the AC is blasting and I had to slick my hair because of the sweats. <laughs> so don't mind that. Um, this is fall in Texas. It's nice for like an hour. Uh, but I just drove to the next neighborhood. So let's go to our first little library over here. This is a less cookie cutter, cookie cutter, hello, cookie cutter neighborhood. It's more quirky. So here is our little library. Love the stickers, period. All right, we have The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. Don't know what that is, but it looks creepy. We also have a Dick Wolf, The Executioner, After the Fire, Send for Me, which is a historical fiction book of the month. Let's see what we have back here. Oh, another What to Expect in the Toddler Years. Good Behavior by Blake Crouch. That's a good one. Sports Writer by Richard Ford, no idea. Moss Flower and The Fruitful Darkness. And it looks like these are historical romance, mass market paperback vibes. Down below here, we have some more, uh, we have kids, book, oh, kids books over here and a mass market paperback right here. And Backlash by Brad Thor. For some reason, this author sounds familiar to me. I don't know what that is, but Ramona Quimby. Wow, what a throwback. And it looks like some like Bible story vibes. Okay, yeah, this one had a ton more variety than all of the last ones. So very, very, very cool. Oh my gosh, y'all, the next one is so cute. It is so cute, y'all are not ready. Look at how adorable, are you kidding me? The little sides with the red roof. You've got to be kidding. That is so cute. And it says it's a children's library, but we'll see about this. We have a V.E. Schwab book, This Savage Song. 
Scarlet Letter. That was definitely somebody's school copy again. They do have a lot of kids books in here, but we also have Wake Up, I'm Fat. I mean, same queen. Sold on a Monday. Oh my gosh, that looks terrifying. Um, a lot of kids stuff. Easter bugs. Oh my gosh, these little board books. Yeah, if you have kids, this is a good one, but also looks like some, some other readers have been here as well. Lots of like fantasy vibes over here. We had the Addie LaRue and the other ones from the last one. And then we had the, the Savage Song as well. Hi, let's go to the next one. So I was driving to the next one and I randomly saw another, what I think is a little library on a fence. So we're gonna go check that out. Let me not get hit by a truck. <laughs> I'm not trying to die today. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think this is a little free library. Weird. It is just up here on the fence. Oh my gosh, traversing through the bush to get to her. Okay, she looks a little rough, gonna be honest, but might as well stop and look at her. All right, we have a Sue Monk kid right off the bat. Secret Life of, Life of Bees, The Saint of Lost Things by Christopher Castellani. Starting in a, out in Italian, all right. Sweet Potato Queens. All right, Madame Bovary, Eat, Pray, Love, Healthy Sleep Habits for Your Child, How to Win Friends and Influence People. We got some manipulators out here. And then an LSAT book. Oh, a Meg Medina, Merci Suarez Changes Gears. Cute. And magazines, well, unexpected stop, but an interesting one. She needs some repairs though. The next ones we have, there are two of them that look very similar. Uh, this is some place called Book Spring. It says it's like promoting children's reading. So I'm guessing, yes, these are all children's books. And the other one over here, I'm guessing will be the same. Yeah, these look a little bit older, maybe some YA, but Mostly all kids books. Adorable though. Next up we have this red and purple moment. Love these signs by the way. These are all over all the Austin neighborhoods. Love to see it. Oh my gosh, is this a little fox? I'm screaming! Uh-oh, already. We have Edit Yourself, Idiots, and Aziz Ansari. These all go together for sure. <laughs> Golf for every day. Billy Lynn's long halftime walk is back there. Not sure, a lot of golf around here. And knitting. So the women knit and the dudes play golf. Then we have kids books down here. Oh my gosh, the dork diaries. Do y'all remember these? I loved those as a child. There's also like classics. I think if you had a kid, that would be really cute to like read to them one every night or whatever. I'm sure that's what it's designed for. Love the fox, love the sign, but nothing for me in here. Y'all, I have never seen a little free library quite like this. This is so cool. It doesn't have that clear window. It's like a kind of locker. Oh my gosh, so cool. I think, wait, is this not the British publication of the first Harry Potter book? Kind of cute, but all of the rest of these are just kids books, so nothing for me here. I don't think that part opens, but it is very, very cool. I would love to live next to this. Look at the sides, so cute. It, the last place we are going to go to is just one little street that I know of, kind of down by the UT campus that has two on the same street. So it'll be easy just to zip over there and do one last check around for what you could find in a little free library in Austin, Texas. And then I gotta get myself Chick-fil-A after this. So I think I'm going to try the Autumn Spice Shake.
Mm, yeah, I'm gonna treat myself. So let's go. Gorgeous neighborhood. I think I filmed at this specific library before. It's always literally packed. We have Plastic Ocean. Okay, somebody's trying to be an environmentalist girl. She said, by blood, the way of the pilgrim. Oh my gosh, Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. This is a great one. I have this one on my shelves. Exhalation, all right. Surrealist love poems. A good old classic John Green looking for Alaska. Keepsake by Christina Riggle. The life you can't save. The sinner. Ooh, this is getting dark. Shaquille O'Neal's book. All right. This dragonfly in amber I know I've seen talked about on fantasy booktuber pages. The wind up girl and retreat hell. Now that that's something I could maybe get into. <laughs> if my TBR wasn't so long, I might check it out, but I have so much shit to get to. So this is just an adventure for y'all. I also want to show y'all this neighborhood because look at these houses. Oh my God, look at that, so pretty. I can't, I wanna live here. Why can't I be rich? All right, so there is one more on the street that I'm gonna pop down to and that will be our last little free library. Let's hope it's a good one. All right, here we are at our last library and it looks like it has some stuff in here. All right. Amanda Palmer, The Art of Asking. Never heard of that, it looks self-helpish. Ooh, this cover is beautiful. It's by someone who has a PhD. This is Smart People Books. Her Fearful Symmetry, The Liars Club, a memoir, The Company of Women, Traveler. Oh my gosh, Garfield, iconic. All of the smart stuff in the Garfield. Survival of the Thickest, okay. Wait, I know who that is, I like her. Uh, I Know This Much Is True by Wally Lamb is back there. A Very Merry Aqua Velva Christmas Cookbook, interesting. The Potty Mouth at the Table. Three Junes and some back here that look like Mass Market, J.A. Jantz, Tammy Huag. That is our final library. A very interesting mix. I'm glad I came into the couple other neighborhoods that I knew about so we could just get that little bit of variety in there because the cute neighborhood with a ton of libraries, they were all like very, very similar. So, all right, people in their cars are looking at me. Let's do the outro in the car. All right, before I go, before I leave you, Let's go to Chick-fil-A and try the Autumn Spice Shake. I don't know if you care about this. If you don't, buy. But if you want my review, like, let's go ahead and go. The bag has literally been secured. I got nuggets with buffalo sauce and fries, in case you're wondering my order. Let me turn off the AC so you can probably hear me better. And we're going to try the Autumn Spice Shake. She's so cute. Oh my god, look at her with her little cherry. Mm. <laughs> Why do the stupidest things make me so happy? You know, I'm gonna take what I can get. Let's try it. Oh my god. Mm. There's crunchy stuff in there. It's so good. It tastes like a pie crust, but I don't know what type of pie it is. Nondescript fall pie. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. I like the crunchy texture. Um, the flavor is just kind of like nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, autumn spice, if you will. I guess they named it well. I really like it. I give it five stars. I like that they did something different and it's not just like pumpkin, 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 everything. Usually I don't support Chick-fil-A because, you know, they hate me <laughs> and my people. They hate gay people. They literally want all queers to burn, um, allegedly. I try not to go there, but... Y'all, I just really wanted it. I probably pay for Chick-fil-A once a year. I'm, I guess I'm gonna go donate $14 that I spent on Chick-fil-A to the Trevor Project to offset <laughs> that for myself. But it's good as hell. I'm so excited to eat my nuggets. Well, 
thank you so much for going on this little free library journey with me. I hope you had fun going on a walk, looking at decor, and peeking into some little free libraries. I love filming these for you guys. If you like watching them, there are a ton more on my channel that you can watch after this. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to go to therapy and read a book this week. I'll see you in my next one.